This week in Rivian News, we break down the biggest takeaways from Autonomy and AI Day, unpack what R2 means for Rivian's future, and why LiDAR matters. We cover what's coming in the latest software update and round things out with the best December deals. First up today, let's talk about Rivian's Autonomy and AI Day. By now, I'm sure you've seen or heard what happened, but here's a quick recap. First, at the center of all of this, Rivian's moving to an in-house silicon. They announced their first custom autonomy chip called the RAP1, or the Rivian Autonomy Processor. It's a five nanometer chip designed specifically for Rivian's vision-based AI, and it combines processing and memory into a single module for better efficiency, performance, and safety. I don't think enough people are talking about this. It is an absolutely huge investment to optimize for a future where they are licensing this tech to other automakers. That chip powers Rivian's new Gen 3 autonomy computer, officially called ACM3, and the numbers here are big up to 1.6 quadrillion operations per second, the ability to process 5 billion pixels every second, and a new low latency interconnect called RivLink, which lets Rivian scale processing power over time. They also built their own AI compiler and a software stack in-house, which is a very Apple-like move. Now, hardware-wise, the other big announcement, LiDAR, is officially coming, but only on R2 and future platforms that have Gen 3, not current Gen 2 R1s. Rivian is positioning LiDAR as a redundant sensor for edge cases, working alongside cameras and radar to improve real-world reliability. The Gen 3 hardware is currently being validated and is expected to ship on R2 starting in late 2026. So yes, you should wait if you're planning to get an R2 because LiDAR won't be shipping with the initial R2 rollout. I assume with the slow rollout, to be honest, most people won't even get the option to purchase until a LiDAR version of the vehicle is available, but it'll bump the price up, so that's a fair warning. On the software side, Rivian introduced what they're calling their Rivian Autonomy Platform, including a new large driving model. You can think of it like a large language model, but trained to drive, it learns from massive data sets and refines better driving behavior over time using Rivian's end-to-end -end data loop. For Gen 2 R1 owners, universal hands-free driving is here. That means hands-free assisted driving across 3.5 million miles of roads in the US and Canada, including back roads with clear lane markings. No longer are there any pre-mapped areas to use your autonomy. Rivian also announced Autonomy Plus, their autonomy subscription. It is launching in early 2026 and will cost $2,500 for a one-time purchase or $49.99 per month with continuously expanding features. Rivian made it clear that this is the foundation for future capabilities like point-to-point -point driving, eyes off driving, and eventually personal L4 autonomy. And finally, beyond driving, Rivian unveiled Rivian's Unified Intelligence, or RUI, their AI layer across the entire company. The biggest user-facing piece of that is the Rivian Assistant, a next-gen voice assistant launching in early 2026 on both Gen 1 and Gen 2 R1 vehicles. It can understand your vehicle, connect with third-party apps like Google Calendar, and uses large language models for more natural conversations and reasoning. And if you watch the event, they did a live demonstration of this. Now behind the scenes, this same AI stack will power predictive maintenance, smarter service diagnostics, and eventually better self-service tools inside the Rivian app. I hope one day my Rivian tell me what is wrong with it before I even have to take it into a service center. I think Rivian is clearly betting on vertical integration, so owning the hardware, the silicon, and the software so that they can move faster long term. It's really about laying the groundwork down for the next decade with the potential to license this to other vehicle manufacturers. Next, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Nokian Tires. Rivian has officially designated the Nokian Tires Hakapalita R5s as the official winter tire for the R1 platform here in North America. And you can now buy it directly from the Rivian gear shop. 
It's fully compatible with both the R1T and the R1S, carries the three peak mountain snowflake and the ice grip certifications for serious winter safety. And it's electric fit certified, meaning it was designed and tested specifically for electric vehicles. Thank you so much Nokian for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the news. Next, if you didn't know, software update 2025.46 is slowly rolling out to your vehicle as we speak, and you probably already have it. The latest Rivian update is all about more control, better autonomy, and smarter everyday usability. You can now customize the driver display, switching between a driver assist visualization or full navigation right in front of you. Navigation itself is faster, smarter, and gives more context when you're not actively routing. For Gen 2 vehicles, the big headline is universal hands-free driving. It allows hands-free driving on over 3.5 million miles of marked roads in North America, as long as you're paying attention. It's not self-driving though, it won't make turns or stop at lights, but for highway cruising, it's a meaningful step forward and will work on other roads that have clear line markings. Rivian also added autonomy drive styles. You have mild, medium, and spicy, so you can choose how aggressively or relaxed the driver assist system behaves. Speed adjustments are now simpler using the thumb wheel, and the autonomy visualization shows more of what's happening around you. On the convenience side of this software update, Digital Key is finally here with better reliability, ultra wideband support, phone and watch compatibility, and the ability to share keys even if your phone dies. For quad motor owners, you finally get what you paid for, Rad Tuner, which is going to let you fully customize how the vehicle drives, and Kick Turn, which allows tight off-road pivots, and throttle control is even improved in sand mode, rally mode, drift mode for better precision. This is the biggest update of the year, and and yes, I think it even makes the audio in Gen 2 perform as well as it does in Gen 1. At least it does perform pretty close to it. For a full breakdown of software update 2025.46, go check out Jose's video if you want to see everything in action, which I've linked in the description down below. Now before I wrap up, I want to share a quick update about the channel. Heading into 2026, my goal is to create more engaging, story-forward videos, more vlog-type stuff, more real-world experiences, and new types of content that really show what it's like to drive a Rivian and live with an electric vehicle day-to-day. -day. Now, with that said, that doesn't mean that the weekly Rivian news updates are going away right now. I've learned a ton from posting consistently every single week for the past two years, but depending on how busy the news cycle is, they may not happen every single week this coming year. And that's because it gives me a space to build something a little bit bigger and more creative. I do feel like I'm at a point where this channel can grow into more than just updates, and I'm really excited about where things are headed. Now December is ending very soon and January, the new year is starting up really quick and I expect there to be more deals on Rivian's moving into the next year. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to rivian.com backslash offers if you are looking into buying a Rivian and checking out the deals there and if you feel like this channel has been educational for you and you would like to use my referral code, then go ahead and put my referral code in as you purchase and it'll get you $500 towards Rivian gear in the gear shop, and it gets me a little bit something too. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, check out my new video here, and remember, adventure is always out there.